want to bring in Nima Romani. He is a former federal prosecutor and president of West Coast Trial Lawyers. Nima, what do you uh, what do you make of this? Not a good look for Christian Combs. I mean, the allegations are grabbing, groping, uh, forced kissing, and the worst of all, um, attempted oral sex. So this is really serious. And of course, there's the employment law violation. So case against Diddy, a lot weaker. Um, aiding and abetting and failure to protect. It's going to be tough to prove that he had a duty to keep the victim safe from his own son. He may get dismissed from the case ultimately, but really it's just such a bad look right now because it's consistent with all the other allegations of celebrities, sex workers, drugs, and those other parties at mm. Diddy's homes. I, I'm interested that you said he might actually end up, you know, being dismissed from the case because they named him as a defendant for, quote, intentionally failing to make sure the yacht was a safe environment. Police. That's pretty hard to do. So I'm interested to hear you say that. But here's what I'm really drilling down on. Um, there is an allegation that recordings were made. And to, to sweeten the pot in this complaint, um, the lawsuit actually suggests that these were the words that were uttered on the tape. Stop. I have to go. And then another phrase, excuse me, don't touch my legs like that. The last time I saw quotes like this that were dropped into a lawsuit, it was Roger Ailes being sued by Gretchen Carlson. She dropped a few choice quotes like that. And boy, did that ever have implications. Is that the strategy? Do you do that? Do you, do you throw a couple of the teaser quotes like, I have audio, and in case you don't believe me, you remember saying this? Well, Ashley, you're right. This is a complaint for public consumption. There's the pictures of Diddy and his son. There are the transcriptions of the audio recordings, which are pretty damaging. And you know, I know people will ask, well, isn't California a two-party state? But you can record evidence of a crime, which this appears to be. So this is something that is much for the courtroom, but for the court of public opinion. So to the court of public opinion, there's some pushback here, too, and that is that the lawyer who is representing uh, Grace O'Markey is Tyrone Blackburn. And that is the same lawyer who's representing Lil Rod, Rodney Jones, who is also suing Diddy. And it's also the same lawyer who's got some problems of his own, because there's complaints that he has a habit of throwing really salacious complaints out there to try to sort of get famous people to pay up. Um, and, and he's facing some serious, serious action because of it. It's not just people talking about that. He's he's facing some problems within the legal community. Will any of that matter? I don't think it will. You know, ultimately, <laughs> litigation is about leverage. And, you know, leverage in this case, we know that Diddy is facing some sort of criminal investigation. I personally believe charges are imminent. And, you know, this is not uncommon when celebrities are sued. It's a Me Too type situation. I'm here in Los Angeles. I've represented lots of celebrities. I've sued lots of celebrities and you know we've been on this show talking about our cases against Lizzo and Kanye and once one individual comes forward other folks are saying hey that same thing happened to me maybe it's not so scary to file a lawsuit and maybe I should contact a lawyer who's already suing this individual. Nima you're great. I'm sorry I had a bit of a coughing fit right in the middle of your answer there. Um, so I'm going to have to cut this short and go to break. I apologize. <laughs> I had smoke inhalation this week and an earthquake. It's been a really tough week. Thank you for doing this. Of course, Ashley. Thanks for having me as always. I'll see you soon. <laughs> I'll be better next time, I promise.